what up, what up, what up? This your boy Noob1949, aka DJ Rob Will, doing a raw unboxing today. What's a raw unboxing? Bang! This joint is fresh off the porch. Super soap. Ah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What do we have here? Hopefully, <laughs> what I've been waiting on since. Last week? Ah, don't worry, I don't litter. I'm gonna come back for the bag in a minute. Ugh. Yeah, people don't do unboxings like this. They have it all open and pre-packaged and ready. But uh, I'll tell you the story while I'm doing this. So I ordered a fight case from American Musical Supply and it came in damaged. Uh, if I had the clip, I'm gonna insert it in here. It came damaged, man. Um, don't know, hold on. Don't know whose fault it is. Don't know if it was a shipping thing. Don't know. But they were polite about it. And they sent me a uh, UPS code, my Chinese food. Hello. Uh, I know people are probably gonna be like, man, it's so unprofessional. I don't care. They sent me a UPS code. And as soon as I scanned it, they mailed out a new one. Now the problem with the first one was the uh, the corner, I guess steel ball bearings or whatever you call them, they were scraped. There's a big scratch on another corner and the aluminum lip or steel lip that goes across the front on a laptop stand, because this is a glide case for my new Mark IV track, by the way, it was bent. So it, it looked used and I paid for a new one. So. Anyway, shipped it. As soon as they scanned the UPS label, they shipped a new one. So this is a raw unboxing straight off the porch. Y'all are seeing this when I see this. So that's a cool knife of fire. By the way. Has a seat belt uh, slicer in case you get an accident. All right, and hopefully this one didn't come damaged. You know, like the last one. But you know, nothing against American Musical Supply. They have one of the greatest payment plans, if not the greatest payment plan I've ever seen. And you know, stuff happens. That's another DJ tip for you guys. When you have a bad transaction or something goes wrong, don't get an attitude, man. Understand that it's a business and nobody's perfect. Ah, got this black label. Ah, look at that. Okay, I'm feeling more confident already. I'm feeling more confident already. So I'm gonna pause the video and just take this out the box and continue. All right, I don't know where this light came from. Here we go. Whew, still in the place. This junk is heavy, yo. You hit somebody with this, life over. So far, so good. I don't know why this light is on. Okay. So far, so good. You know, looking good, looking clean. Yeah, okay, I guess you need to light the focus. Oh, let me adjust this focus. I'll just leave the light on. All right. Got my spring-loaded handle here. And, okay. Eh, yeah, okay. Much better, much better. Wasn't expecting it to be in perfect pristine condition, but the last one had a very big scratch like somewhere right here, and these were scraped up like it had been dragged or something like that. But um, this one looks like it's in considerably better condition. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up. And these are the twist locks. I love these things. Nice and smooth. Raw unboxing, man. Y'all seeing it when I'm seeing it. Thank you for watching, by the way. But yeah, like I was saying with DJ Tips, man, um, when you get stuff, I actually think it's upside. No, it's not upside down. There we go. It is backwards, though. When you get new stuff, and this is the top half. Yeah. Yeah, mine was definitely damaged. The bend. 
Well, that's the removable front plate for your, um, so you can have access to the front of your system. This was bent last time. They had a, a V-shaped bent, bend rather, glide case. I keep pulling on that like it's gonna stay. Okay, glide case, a little stiff, but that's cool. Makes me feel like it's fresher. Um, you know what? The last one I got actually came with two extra pieces of foam that I don't see in this one. Hmm, interesting. Maybe that was a mistake or not. I don't know. All right, well, that's it. It's the Odyssey Glide case. Sorry about the focus. I don't know what's going on with that. There we go. So to see glide case, laptop stand. I'm gonna put the four track in here and let you guys know how this thing turns out. But look wise, cosmetically, I'm much more satisfied than with the first one. Um, and I'll let you all know how this turns out. Till next time, it's your boy Nuke 1949. Unboxing video, raw unboxing video, straight off the porch. <laughs> so all my DJs out there, keep spinning. Continue to share the knowledge and look for a new episode uh, soon. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Noop1949. I apologize, I lied. So in the last video I just did, well not last video, probably continue, I'm probably gonna make this all one video. I said my flight case didn't come with the extra piece of foam and it did. So here's my new Mark IV track in my Odyssey glide case. Um, you can run the cords out the back or if you see right here, there's a hole on the bottom. You can unscrew that and run your cables through the bottom. Um, it's beautiful. I feel so much better now that I have this. Um, I'm probably going to WD-40. This uh, the actual shelf is stiff. But I guess that's a good thing because it's not going anywhere. That extra piece of foam, though, I don't know what to do with it because ugh, I guess... I could stick it back here somewhere to make sure it doesn't, my four track doesn't, sorry, make sure my four track doesn't slide back, but that's about the only place it'll fit. As you can see, I got good clearance underneath, sorry about the light. I mean, this thing fit perfect. It looks close, but it's, it's not close back here. Here's my... Here's my fingers. That's just a lip back here. Those buttons are a little further ahead. So I read some reports of like the things touching. Clearly I have at least probably close to an inch or more of space in between my controller and the glide case. Then all it will take is setting up and sliding open. And you know, this is solid. And it does have like a little lip. I'm assuming this little lip can be screwed up and tightened so that I won't accidentally slide the case off. It only has one though. Go figure. This piece of foam is right here, so I have no idea what to do with that, but looks like I have full access to my controller and everything like that. Um, I'm probably still gonna keep using my regular laptop stand because I'm set up right here in front of this junkie behind table. And as you can see, I don't have space to really walk through. So what I'm going to have to do is probably just take the laptop stand off. And because this slides directly off, I can show you real quick, actually. But this will come if you slide it. Oh, God. Ugh. It'll slide directly off. And all you do is line it back up with the little track here and here here so um it's good quality plywood i'm so happy with this so i'm probably just gonna leave this elsewhere and then you know you got your holes for running your laptop cables i'm probably gonna leave that elsewhere and just probably have it in the house sitting in a case like this um you know that now that i think about this phone this might just be for if i put the case on without the laptop sleeve slide shelf i don't know but i'm probably gonna run it like this and 
moved his back up to the table and just DJ out of here. He got the removable. This, be careful with this thing. This thing does it's secure when you have it on, the top on, but not without it, it comes right out. But that's a good thing. And bang. I have access to my entire front panel. I always leave my quarter inch adapter in there. So all I have to do is screw my headphones in. So I don't see anything being blocked. This thing, there's no, there's no room for my controller to breathe. And that's what I want. So that's a good thing. Yeah, this sucker is not going anywhere. So once again, shout out to American Musical Supply. Shout out to the customer service team. I greatly appreciate that. Huge shout out to DJ Iceman, Robert Anderson. Check him out on YouTube. Check him out on Facebook. Download his mixtapes. Check that guy out. Oh, man. I'm back real videos. quick. Yeah, best. forgot to end the episode. All right, it's the end, episode six. I'm also going to make this the end of season one. Once again, shout out to Robert Anderson, a.k.a. DJ Iceman. Thank you so much for the support and the love and the repost in my page and being real about everything. You know, he said I had some real stuff on my page. And he's one of the DJs I look up to because he speaks his mind. So I appreciate you being honest because if it was whack or meaningless, he would have told me. So thank you for that. Um, shout out to DJ TLM TV. Shout out to DJ Booth.net. Um, Kareem Julian, what up? Uh, shout out to Digital DJ Tips. And shout out to DJ Short E all the way over in the UK, man. Check out her School of Scratch. Check her out on YouTube in general. She's dope. These are just some of the people that I listen to and I watch. And they've inspired me to continue on this journey, man. Um, like I said, this is the end of season one. Your boy's been busy, man. I have a full-time job. I got a new part-time job about two weeks ago. And I'm about to actually go to real estate school. So, yeah. I have no time for anything. So, I'm taking a little bit of a hiatus for DJing. I'm not quitting. I'm not leaving. All my gear is still right over here. You know, your boy just don't have time to dedicate to it. And my thing is this, if I can't truly dedicate the time I need to, I'm not really going to get anything out of it. So I'll practice whenever I can and keep my skills up. Um, and if, you know, I feel like doing any little thought provoking videos in between, they're not going to necessarily be Life of Ricky DJ videos, but they may just be videos in general who may still touch on DJ stuff. Or, you know, I got musical content. Check out Alex Lexus. That's our video game network, New Gaming Order. Check that out. Still got a lot of stuff popping on YouTube, man. So thank you for all the support. Thank you support me for supporting me through season one and season two, you know, a couple months, maybe December, my birthday month. I might bring it back. Who knows? But once again, I just want to thank all of the subscribers, all the people who hit the like button, all the people who shared the video. I appreciate you, man. It motivates me take time out of my day to make these videos and you know i don't know who might hear this i don't know who might see this but i might inspire the next great dj i may answer a question that someone's asked that's never been answered before so continue to share the knowledge continue to you know hit me up check the links below um link up with me via social media all right until the next video peace